Hello friends, this is Deepak Sarma from Fund of Mechanical Engineering and today I want to discuss Carnot theorem and going to prove the statement of Carnot theorem. Okay, so let me first tell you what is Carnot theorem. Carnot theorem has two statements. Okay, Carnot theorem has two statements. Statement 1. What is statement 1 state? It states that if there is a high temperature reservoir, there is a high temperature reservoir and there is a low temperature reservoir. Okay. And one reversible heat engine that is W H E R and one irreversible heat engine that is H E I R working between two temperature limit working between two temperature limit T1 and T2 where T1 is greater than T2 ok by considering this this is Q R this is Q I R this is Q2 R this is Q2 I R ok so Carnot first theorem states that if there is there are one irre reversible heat engine and there are one irreversible heat engine operating between two temperature limit T1 and T2 then efficiency of efficiency of reversible heat engine efficiency of reversible heat engine always be greater than efficiency of irreversible heat engine okay this is the first statement of Carnot theorem and second statement of Carnot theorem is that that if there are if there are more than one if there are more than one reversible heat engine operating between the two temperature limit T1 and T2 then efficiency of each and every heat engine that working under the temperature T1 and T2 will be same ok so I will write it later so let me first prove prove it prove this statement as we know efficiency of reversible heat engine is equal to so this is a heat engine this will provide some work W I R and this provide work W only W R ok W R so efficiency of reversible heat engine is equal to W R by Q Q R is it clear and this one is Q I R ok Q R and efficiency of irreversible heat engine Q I R is equal to work done irreversibly work done that we are getting irreversibly by Q I R ok so to prove this statement let first assume that Q R is equal to Q I R ok because this stay both heat engine taking heat from the same temperature limit T1 so initially these are two same I am assuming ok and I am also assuming for my consideration for proving this statement I am assuming that first efficiency of irreversible is greater than efficiency of reversible ok so anyhow if we can prove that this statement is wrong then automatically this statement will be true is it ok so I am going to prove this statement is wrong then my this statement will automatically be true ok so by assuming these two things let me remove this high temperature reservoir ok and let me tell you this is reversible heat engine ok so this is reversible heat engine this can also be operated in opposite direction let me operate it into opposite direction ok and as soon as it operate in opposite direction as soon as it operate in opposite direction it needs to provide where it's providing some work WR now it's need to provide some work WR ok because now this has become heat pump and this will be same QR ok and if we will resume, remove this STR high temperature reservoir and connect this 
हीट पम्प टू दिस इिवर्सिबल हीट इंजन देन दिस इिवर्सिबल हीट इंजन विल गेट सेम हीट ओके बिकॉज आई है जूम डेट दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू क्यू आई आर ओके सो बाई बाई डूइंग दिस इफ यू विल ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली so by doing this if you will observe carefully that heat irreversible heat engine getting same heat okay and it needs to provide some work w r then what work will be obtained here then work obtained will be w i r minus w r is it true because by reversing heat, this reversible heat engine into the opposite direction this has become a heat pump and it needs to provide some work wr that previously we are getting from it now we have, we will have to provide it and if we connect this heat engine and remove this uh, heat pump, sorry if we connect this heat pump to this reversible heat engine and remove this str we don't need str now then this will provide uh, some work that will be w ir minus w r because w r we are feeding here into the heat pump this is statement what indicates basically this is statement indicates that we are providing some work w r to heat pump and getting some heat w ir w i r minus w r okay and we have assumed that efficiency of this irreversible heat engine is greater than efficiency of reversible heat engine we have taken the assumption okay if this is possible that's mean we are getting some extra amount of work suppose in this way let me tell you in this way that's mean we are getting 110% of work by providing only 100% of work is it possible from the remote alarm point of view is it possible that's we are getting some extra amount of work by providing um, some little amount of work is it not possible again if we remove this str this will observe uh, this will uh, omit uh, what we call it yeah if again if we remove this str high temperature reservoir then this will violate the kelvin planck statement of second law of thermodynamics kelvin planck statement second law of thermodynamics because now this heat engine irreversible heat engine or reversible heat engine this irreversible heat engine work under one temperature limit which violate the kelvin planck statement because kelvin planck statement this is according to kelvin planck statement this is impossible or reversible heat engine can't operate under in one uh, under in one uh, temperature reservoir so this statement we have proved that this statement is wrong again irreversible heat engine can't be equal to reversible heat engine due to irreversibility so this statement is also wrong so what is true so only one condition is there that efficiency of reversible heat engine is always be greater than efficiency of reversible heat irreversible heat engine okay irreversible heat engine if operating between the temperature limit t1 and t2 okay where t1 is greater than t2 so this is all about carnot theorem if you have any doubt regarding this statement oh, sorry let me tell you second statement of carnot theorem i have already told you that second statement of carnot theorem but let me tell you once again okay so second statement of carnot theorem states that second statement of carnot theorem states that if you have more than one heat engine which all are reversible okay if you have more than one more than one reversible heat engine suppose this is r1 this is r2 this is r2 r3 reversible heat engine one reversible heat engine two reversible heat engine three operating under two temperature limit t1 and t2 
this is T1, this is T2, this is STR, high temperature reservoir, this is LTR, low temperature reservoir, okay, and providing work W1, W2, W3, and remaining heat rejected to Q2 rejected to LTR, low temperature reservoir, that is Q2, 1, Q2, 1 prime, Q2, 2 prime, Q2, 3 prime, Q2, uh, double, uh, triple 3 prime, double prime, okay. So according to second statement of Carnot theorem, second statement of Carnot theorem, it states that if the all irreversible, if more than one irrever reversible heat engine, if the more than one reversible heat engine operating between the two temperature limit T1 and T2, where T1 is greater than T2, then efficiency of all reversible heat engine, that is efficiency of all re reversible heat engine will be same. Okay, so this is the second statement of Carnot theorem. So I am giving you home assignment to prove it that how the efficiency of all reversible heat engine are same by following the same step that as I have approved the first statement of Carnot theorem. Okay, till now. So this is all about Carnot theorem. How we, what Carnot theorem is that? In my next lecture, I will just describe basic thermodynamic process how we will find property diagram how we will uh, sorry how we will draw property diagram all these things and how we will find the pro parameter process parameter of basic thermodynamic process that i will go that i will describe in the next lecture till now thank you thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is fund of mechanical engineering okay thank you